Today I'm going to review with you guys three of the classic Selene catalogs. The, the first one we'll take a look at is catalog number two, and it's actually from 1994. Um, covers a lot of great Fox Body Selene items that are no longer available. And it's, it's, really, it's really a neat book. The second one we'll review is the Selene catalog from 1998. And the third one we will review is the Selene catalog from 2009. First catalog we're going to take a look at is the classic one from 1994. This is catalog number two. Unfortunately, I don't have catalog number one, although I would love to see it to see the differences. Um, and, you know, I've had this since 1994. I got it when I was in college. <clears throat> And so it's in a little bit rough shape. But on the cover, we have Fox Body Selene. The other thing that's really cool about this catalog is, is the size of it. And, you know, this is something we'll probably never see done again because catalogs now are basically non-existent because of the Internet. And actually holding something like this in your hand, especially if it's something that you're interested in like I am, it's just really a neat, neat opportunity. Every time I pick it up, it's it's... It's just so cool. It's like going back in time. The size of it also is really, really neat because it's just really big. It's just oversized. It's twice as big as the other Selene catalogs. Uh, you know, initially here we have some of the we have a Selene Fox Body race car. You know, somewhere between '89 and and '92. I'm not positive which year this one is from. We have a message from Steve talking about Selene performance and all the parts you can order how to order, phone numbers, uh, Celine Spider, a photograph of Celine's un in construction. Second page is really a neat page. It has all the Celine body kits all the way back to 1985 and 86. And it would be really nice to be able to get our hands on something like this now for $299 because this piece is just totally obsolete now and it's really tough to come by. 85, 86 Celine front air dam. And then we have the 87 to 89 front air dam, which is smooth. And then the 90 to 93 front air dam, which is not totally smooth. It sticks out a little bit here and here. And then Convertible light bar, brake lights, hatchback brake lights, side skirts, 84 to 86, 87 to 93. Down at the bottom, we've got a large picture of a Celine SC. Really, really neat car. And judging by the wheels, it's probably a 93 Celine SC. It's probably the red one. And I don't I don't believe the red 93 Celine SC exists anymore. I think it was I think it burned up in a fire. And I'm not a total expert, so I'm sure some people can chime in and tell me when I get a fact wrong. And that, that fact may not be correct, but, I, you know, that's what I've heard. Here's something that a lot of people would love to get their hands on. The SA-10 carbon fiber hood. No price. Got a call to figure it out. That's one of those things if you, if you, uh, you got to ask, you can't afford it, I guess. Something else that most people may or may not know about is the Celine GT Sport, and it's got a little trailing wing that hooks onto the GT wing, and Celine uh, racecraft suspension and wheels. Rear valances. The stacked wing they used from 90 to 91. It's a neat piece. You don't see terribly often. And other Celine body kit items. Bumper fillers. You know, the, not, you know, none of this is available anymore, and it's just, it's just really kind of neat to see when you could buy it and how much everything cost. And complete ground fit kit sets. You can't buy them for that now, even if you could locate a set of them. Oh, Celine wheels and tires. All of these are obsolete now. The two at the top are probably two of the most popular, the uh, Celine three-piece sterns. I used to think, man, those things are crazy money at five or six hundred dollars a piece, but you can't. You'd be tough to find them for that now. 
And actually, in, in, in later years, this has actually become my favorite Fox body, Celine Wheel. You know, it's, it's, it's actually more rare. It's the one-piece stern. And you sure can't buy those for $300 now. Not a, you know. Very cool. Uh, the wheel from the uh, early Celine SC and the Celine SSC, the DP 16-inch wheel. Very cool wheel. Can't get those new anymore either, and I know a lot of them crack, so it would be cool if you could just call Celine up and order these. The Celine 5 spoke that was on some of the 87 press cars, and I'm not sure the exact year it really became available, 88 or 89. I think it was an optional wheel in 88, and became more standard in 89 when they got rid of the basket wheels, which look like this. Basket wheels. Wheel and tire packages. Uh, a little tidbit about the right wheel and tire setup for your car. And center caps. I believe, you know, if you look around, you can still find those occasionally. They fall off a lot, so they're tough to come by. And then the takeoff wheels. You know, when Celine converted a Mustang, they had stock wheels and tires to get rid of and sold them here. Next page is all about suspension. Bushings and springs, shock absorbers, the uh, adjustable shocks like we're on the Celine SSC, the racecraft suspension shocks that were used on all the Fox Body Mustangs. There's another picture of the adjustable suspension system with the module that controls it bushings, caster camber plates, GT Sport suspension. You know, and what's cool is obviously the same thing that's cool about the rest of it, not available anymore. So when you find them, tough to come by. More Celine suspension goodness. This is a cutaway picture that shows some of the other Celine suspension items other than the actual shock absorbers. Strut tire brace that all the Celine Mustangs had. Uh, G-load brace, subframe connectors of different styles. <laughs> rear sway bars, pan hard bars, keep the rear end in line. Roll cage, roll bar for the convertibles. Adjustable control arms. And this section is actually called the, the Racecraft Chassis section. And it tells them. You know, they, they have lots of neat little sayings about all the all the products they have for sale. They have a little paragraph that talks about each one of them. Another thing that is kind of neat is the Celine emblem. And this was my favorite Celine emblem. I wish they still had this on, on the wheels. You know, it's, it's got the bigger S. You see it on every page and has the phone number to call for to order products. There's something that you don't see anywhere. You can't, you can't really get. That's the... Uh, Headrest for the flow fit seats. Celine braking systems. Four lug rear disc brake kit. Five lug conversion kit. And the original bigger 13 inch Celine braking system, even at this point, says it's discontinued and not available. And then the, the bigger slotted and grooved four piston Celine braking kit that was used on the 93 SC and SA10s. And I believe this is the exact same kit that is on the S351 starting in 94. I know my S351, the one I own, has this braking setup on it. It works incredibly well. Oh, here's a page a lot of us would love to be able to get our hands on. It's the 1990 Celine SC engine with, well, I guess actually since this one is supercharged, it would technically be the 93 SC engine. I know you could get the supercharger 92. I don't believe they actually built any. But it's got the Holy Grail intake on it. Here's another shot of the Holy Grail intake. Celine raised, and the center section is much taller than on the other later intakes. 
Here's the Pro-M mass air sensor and tube. Really hard to come by these days. Selene cylinder heads, exhaust, oil pan. There's another shot of the mass air sensor, supercharger setups, camshafts, throttle bodies. But how cool would it be, you know, to, to just call up Selene and say, hey, I want this, I want to order a brand new SC engine. Really cool. Selene exhaust systems. Headers all the way back, no catalytic converters. Here's another unique Selene piece from back in the day. I used to have one of these. In fact, I just sold mine recently because I no longer have a Fox Body Selene. The, uh, the Selene intake plenum plate goes on top of the stock Ford plate, replaces where you would say 5.0 HO. Really cool piece. Exhaust tips, Selene plug wires, tune up kit, K and air filter, fuel injectors, fuel pressure regulators, radiators, K and air filter supplies, Selene valve covers, discontinued. It'd be really neat to actually see one of those. I don't think I've actually ever seen a Celine valve cover, one that actually came from Celine. I know some people, I've, I've seen some people make some reproductions, probably really basically the same. Transmissions. Tremec transmission would be used later on in the S351s. Shifter knobs, early Celine shifter knob, 80. Seven and newer shifter knob, leather shift knob, her shifters, clutches, rear ends, a neat piece, the Celine rear end girdle cover, pretty cool. Torsion differential after um, traction lock, aluminum drive shaft, clutch quadrants. Here's another page a lot of us wish we could uh, still order from these days. Celine Recaro seats. Those are used in the 93 Celines. They have the, I always call them the bat wing seats. They look kind of like little bats flying everywhere. Flow fit seats. They don't have the Celine headrest, but actually this headrest is really a little bit more comfortable. I used to have this in my 88 Mustang that had a lot of Celine parts on it. I had these exact seats and the headrests were actually usable. Unlike the ones that the netted headrest that was actually used, there's a part a lot of people would love to get their hands on these days, brand new, the Fox Body Selene floor mats. Back in the day, $99.99. I've seen those sell for several, several hundred dollars in good shape. Uh, the spider, soft spider cover that covers the back seat. Selene gauge cage with, with uh, race gauges in it. A-pillar gauge pod, Celine Momo steering wheel with the cruise control bracket, Celine aluminum pedals, white face gauge clusters, speedometers, tachometers, dead pedals, door panels, rear seat, very cool stuff. It would be better if I could get a single page at a time. And these two pages are competition only pages, so race type items. Carbon fiber body panels. Be interesting to find out if how many of those Celine actually ever sold. Pricey items. Celine race springs, race brake ducts, headers. Bushings, Tremec transmissions, off-road exhaust, clutches, racing Vortex superchargers, Recar or Sparkle race seat, fuel pressure regulators, cylinder heads, camshafts, the Celine oil pan. I've never actually seen one of those on a car. It'd be neat to see. Of course, I. Don't get underneath every single Celine I ever see. So maybe I have actually been around Celine that had one and didn't realize it. Cool piece. Celine race computers. 
Salim Stripe Kits. A4 to 86 kit. Big differences in the front and the rear because they're they're straight. 87 and up kits are curved. 89 kit with the Celine S there. SC kit, Stearns. Windshield decal, bra. Something here discontinued. Car wash discontinued. Other Celine stickers. Some of these you can still buy. Ford, Motor, Ford Motorsport, Racecraft, Suspension. Here's another cool piece. The emblem that was on the 89 and 90 dashes. Really neat piece. Replacement console plaque. And then the, uh, the front doghouse cover that was used when they're putting Celine's together at the factory. They sell those. GT, GT Sport stickers. Some neat things here too I wish you could still buy. Power in the hands of a few sweatshirt with the Fox Body Celine on it. Celine owner's jacket. Race car. Hatchback, race truck, the Indy car. I have that shirt. Um, I did have this shirt at one time, but I wore it so much I wore it out. Sling hats. I have one of those. I have several of these as well, the sling polo shirts. Pretty cool. I didn't realize it, but I guess I have reached the last page. And the back cover has an index on it. And the other half of the Fox Body Mustang. So that like this for the whole shot. And that's my review of the number two Celine Performance Parts Catalog from 1994. Thank you. Uh, look for the next two videos in the near future.